this is Y254 TV discussion Monday. We are talking about the handshake tour that we have seen in the recent days and to help us to understand whether this uh, handshake tour will be helpful to Kenyans. I have with me on my right, I have Daniel Oroga, political analyst, and on my left, I have Abu Bakr Zendama, he's a political analyst as well. So the question is, will the handshake to help Kenya to realize the development we die and need? And to put things in perspective, we now move to our discussion tonight. I want to begin with you, Daniel. What do you make of the handshake tour? Uh, thanks for having me, Hilary. My good friend Abu Bakr. Um, I, I think uh, let us know that the origin of the handshake is. The handshake. Um, people have called it handshake, people have called it various things. Right. But what we really need to understand is that it came out, out of something. Sure. We had a very, um, very, very, uh, what we call very hard times after the election. And we have to remember that it took um, the two leaders to tangle to reassure us that as a country, we really need to forge ahead. Forget about um, uh, really what really differentiates us as an ethnic communities and reunite. It's not like we forgot what uh, happened. But let us also remember that the Handshake Initiative set forth what is called the Building Bridges Initiative right. or the Building Bridges Task Force that I have got a very nine-point agenda to pursue through. Right. So let's not only always think about what we saw was two people shaking hands. Mm -hmm. What you really need to think is, is it sustainable throughout? Is right. it, uh, or is it that when we are headed, we're just about to go on an election, we forget that we have a handshake mm -hmm. and go back to uh, an election. But before really uh, I see is that, uh, in some quarters, it's been seen as a problem uh, to a succession politics right. or like blocking a certain uh, candidate, a potential candidate to, you know, ascend to power. Right. So I think we'll all give a perspective of what this is all about. Right. All right. We will be getting to that to see whether it was a political sabotage or not. Now, uh, Abu Bakar, what do you make of the handshake tour? Because we saw them in Kisumu and everything they did, even the visitation. What do you make of that? Thank you very much, uh, Hillary, mm -hmm. uh, for also having me here with my good friend uh, Daniel. Uh, I'm very much grateful. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, March 9th was the most historic day mm -hmm. uh, Kenya has ever had um, I in terms of cohesion and integration mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's the day mm -hmm. that uh, two national leaders mm -hmm. came outside the Harambe uh, house and shook hands, uh, an indication uh, that there will be no more uh, unnecessary fights. Right. And we hope, and by then, we knew very much, very well that uh, moving forward, mm -hmm. uh, we'll have some good things um, uh, coming towards uh, because of that. Right. Uh, uh, although, uh, sometimes I have some other reservations. Mm. Not all things that I've done uh, uh, they have the meaning that you see. Uh, we, we are seeing some might be having uh, different hidden mm -hmm. interests in, in the agendas. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for me, I, I really appreciated that. It was a very, very, very good move. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, I, I have some questions uh, as a young person uh, to pursue uh, and ask so that these two leaders, two national leaders can come mm -hmm. um, in, into the limelight and tell us mm -hmm. uh, the way forward. Just shaking hands alone, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's good, yes, but w y they need to tell us what okay. is okay. it mm -hmm. in this handshake. Yeah, uh, what was yeah. the details? The details. Oh, in all right. Now, Daniel, you mentioned uh, some quarters uh, feel like something was not good. Now, do you think the handshake now was a political sabotage, especially to these three, uh, three houses now? Well, um, uh, much of it... Uh, I think this is what I, I just began to say that you see, I, in in Kenya, our political history and what has been happening, our political um, platform, is that any move uh, will always have political uh, connotation in it. Mm -hmm. 
And um, that is how the Kenyan voter, that is how um, the Kenyan citizen has really been treated uh, to political happenings throughout. And it's an issue we don't blame them as such. But coming into this, I, I am one of the proponents of uh, the BBI initiative mm -hmm. because I didn't just like it because it was two people shaking hands. Mm -hmm. I, I took my time and read through what the nine point agenda was all about. Mm -hmm. And you realize that, you know, um, um, one of the things was what uh, the president and the Honorable Right Prime Minister are trying to do is to unite the country, um, ensure that there is inclusivity, mm -hmm. ensure that there is rights as well as responsibility, ensure that corruption is, is, is dealt with, mm -hmm. and ensure that there is an end of political violence. Right. So you see, in all these, the agenda that we talked about, it's it's people can be mysterious about what is all about. It's mm -hmm. simply because uh, the persona of the former prime minister begs a question where he is still energetic enough right. to have another run, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. another chance for 2022. Mm -hmm. We all know that um, uh, right now the president or the jubilee side has not been coming forth to reassure the deputy president mm -hmm. that our 2013 um, agreement, agreement yeah. is still in pact, even though we know mm -hmm. it's still in pact because agreements until the other election, until that happens. Yeah. But uh, of course I agree with, with what my friend Abu Bakar is saying, that I, you know, the, the readers from both Kenyan and the side of the deputy president has mm -hmm. to question, mm -hmm. now that you're bringing uh, the, the former prime minister in question, mm -hmm. could you reassure our followers right. that you're still going? to support, even with the coming of handshake. Okay. But again, Hillary, handshake, handshake needs to be devolved. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. Today, we are just reading what is happening in Narok. Mm -hmm. If we are asking the leaders in the border to devolve handshake, that could not have happened. Mm -hmm. Kisumu Nandi border, if we are asking the two governors mm -hmm. to reach out to one another, member of parliament, mm -hmm. to shake hands. So it's an issue that Kenyans really need to take and run away with ensure that is going on throughout very well very well now uh you said it's good for them to tell us what the handshake was all about now uh we saw the jamhuri day being celebrated in kisumu do you feel like the unity that was shown actually for the first time after a long time we saw the opposition leaders together with the government in the same platform now do you think uh the people from the Lake region benefited as much? Uh, I started by admitting mm -hmm. that handshake was something very good mm -hmm. for the sake of the unity and cohesion of this country. Mm -hmm. That one is a fact. Mm -hmm. However, uh, we have the key players, especially the young people. Mm -hmm. They are talking about these nine pillars. In it, there is some uh, that the, there's one pillar that talks about the ending animosity and violence of during elections mm -hmm. who are these people that are, are involved in these uh, election budget practices for example in terms of violence itself mm -hmm. it's the young people right. and hillary as we speak that committee that is being as uh, spearheaded by Yus yusuf haji mm -hmm. and, and and paul mwangi plus amos wako mm -hmm. those are just three of the members that i've mentioned mm -hmm. that are sitting in that committee no my view they're not youths they're not youths. And the most people mm -hmm. that are being subjected uh, or, or, or the ones that are being always being subjected to violences mm -hmm. are the young people. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about the handshake. Mm -hmm. This handshake that is doing cohesion. Mm -hmm. With this cohesion, who is the key player? All right. Who is, who is playing the biggest role in it? So as for me, I, I would be, be very much comfortable mm -hmm. when I see some of our young people sitting in that committee so they can recommend mm -hmm. the issues and commend the issues of mm -hmm. young people in, in now Kenya. Uh, if Secondly, I could ask, uh, oh yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Secondly mm -hmm. uh, we have been told uh, about ending corruption mm -hmm. within the same pillar. This is jump just few pillars I'm, uh, I'm talking about. This ninth match, the handshake, happened after the budget right. uh, it is it was already out mm -hmm. so i'm wondering 
and I'm, 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 I'm yet to ask, where are the funds coming from to fund this initiative? It's a very good initiative, yes, you haven't refused. Mm -hmm. But where are we getting the funds to fund this initiative? Mm -hmm. That means there are some resources somewhere mm -hmm. from a certain department mm -hmm. that is being channeled again towards this initiative mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and services in that the docket or that sector, mm -hmm. they are not being rendered. So mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. we're talking about ending corruption mm -hmm. and we are not being told where as this money right. coming from mm -hmm. the one that is behaving this initiative it's right. a very nice initiative but right. we need to be told this is this, this, this thing True. so that we can be we can now mm -hmm. be very comfortable yeah. with all all these things mm -hmm. lastly about the political part of it mm -hmm. uh team that th that the deputy president team even he came and said mm -hmm. he is supporting the handshake mm -hmm. it's only a fool who cannot support that because mm -hmm. it, has it, it, it has brought our economy back on course. Sure. We, I, I'm not seeing any quarter that it should be worried about this thing. Mm -hmm. But again, there are some people that are using this initiative to score political mm -hmm. agendas. Right. So again, we, we, we also need to be told mm -hmm. in terms of setting political agendas, mm -hmm. how is it that this initiative is mm -hmm. correlated with it? Right. We, we want if 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 anything is to go bad, mm -hmm. we need to deter this thing completely away from politics. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, these are two political leaders that they decided to share their ambition and come together. Right. So in, 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 if there is something to go by, they are supposed to be very independent right. as leaders mm -hmm. and not as politicians. Right. So the matter of uh, one quarter thinking that the handshake is going to maybe to, to bring uh, mm -hmm. a bad image on their side, it's, it's not supposed to be that. Mm -hmm. And also the initiators of this, the handshake itself, mm -hmm. they need to come out very clear. Mm -hmm. Someone should not come out and, and, and say that this initiative will spearhead the referendum. And oh. you know when you talk about the referendum, <laughs> some quarters will, you understand? Yeah, it's so we need to be very clear on, on, on these issues. All right, I, I see, um, Rogo, you have something yeah. you want to say, but before you respond to that, because actually yeah. we are running out of time, uh, why do you think the use are more prone to be used in times of election and uh, why do you think they are most used when it comes to causing trouble? The youth have lost hope mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, appointments are not given to them. Right. We are only being used during campaigns mm -hmm. and w we've, we, we've been reduced to that state that time year to time year campaign. Mm -hmm. Some of of the leaders say that we are ignorant, the rich are ignorant, of which mm -hmm. I, I don't subscribe to that mm -hmm. because we are the most hardworking people we've ever had. Mm -hmm. Unemployment is making us uh, uh, feel, uh, unemployment is the key thing mm -hmm. that is making us being used each right. and every time. Okay. So once mm -hmm. even these in initiatives like this one come mm -hmm. and young people are given opportunities mm -hmm. to get uh, employment in these in mm -hmm. initiatives, it will be at least will be better off mm -hmm. than where we were during the last time. Uh, so it, it generally, mm -hmm. it's the politicians or the leaders of this country right. that has refused the young people to be beggars mm -hmm. and, and jobless mm -hmm. so that they can be using them during the campaigns. Yeah, so right. basically, it's it, our, our, our systems are failing us. Mm -hmm. Our systems are failing us. And when we start talking about these things, mm -hmm. somebody will start calling us names. Yeah. Like the other time, the youth of this country, they were called the thieves. That that they eat wherever they go, they they they, they eat the pub. The, the and that's where the money. position was given to someone older. Oh, it was very <laughs> no, much. I it was very much unfortunate. Okay, we're running out of time. But I want you to respond to his uh, sentiment as we finish. Well, well, I, I agree with the most of uh, the issues that have been brought by Abu Bakr. <laughs> Fast forward, young people should not sit, cry foul, and wait. <laughs> This is one thing we really need to tell ourselves always and always. Mm -hmm. The opportunities that we see being grabbed away by the old guard are equal opportunities that we can fight for mm -hmm. and get. And I think uh, the only way we miss this is simply because there is no level playing ground for us as young people. Mm -hmm. And I think we also, and I said this some time ago, we don't just have to wait that we will be given. Young people are so innovative, and we have tyrant of numbers. We, we are so many in this country. The question then begs is, when are we going to change? Mm -hmm. 
when are we going to decide that to change? But the, the thing is, do we appreciate content? 1969, there were young people. Who were they? Mikey Bucky, Tom Boyer, and the rest. Mm -hmm. But look at what they did. We are still using their session on paper number 10 until now. Mm -hmm. So it means that the young people at that generation had got content to do. But as, as, as well, building bridges initiative, and, and I really agree, that is the only component I am critical about BBI. Mm -hmm. The fact that young people were not given an equal appointment to that committee mm -hmm. means that issues that are affecting young people, and they are always at the center of political violence, either as perpetrators or as, as, as victims. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important moving forward Instead of the Third Way Alliance filing a petition to do away with, with you know, BBI mm -hmm. on the component that is not constitutional, in the component that is not really um, there is a decision by two people, I think mm -hmm. I would have joined, comfortably joined that petition when they said young people were not g included in the platform. Then we would, as young people, we'd be very critical oh. about BBI. But let us also forget that, you see, the initiators of Handshake were two people. Yeah. Abu Bakr. There were two people. That was the, the current president and the former That's prime minister. Yeah. So they have already come out and say we are popularizing the handshake initiative mm -hmm. by having a tour. And I would like also to uh, really uh, criticize the proponents who are always uh, throwing tantrums at the deputy president. I think that is not in good vein because we need the deputy president as well to unite the country. Right. But if we are seeing this as a way of trying to, you know, to choke us up politically and mm -hmm. say, you know, your 2022 is on a dream, I think that is not in good faith. True. Yes. Now, I want us to finish by answering this question. Do you think uh, Abu Bakr's the tour will help Kenya realize its development? I don't think so, mm -hmm. because of the structures that right. are in place. Mm -hmm. As we speak in Kisumu the other day, mm -hmm. they just went. Uh, launched uh, a school, mm -hmm. then they came back. Mm -hmm. How did the Kisumu residents at, at the large mm -hmm. benefited from it? Sure. When they are going to Kajiado, mm -hmm. what are they doing for the economic empowerment? Mm -hmm. Because what we need now, I, in Kenya we've always have ha ha had peace. We have peace even now. So there is no way you can tell me now it has any development mm -hmm. uh, achievement so far. Mm -hmm almost 10 months down the line, mm -hmm. it, it has not achieved anything. Mm -hmm. I want to challenge whoever sits in that committee mm -hmm. that let them think mm -hmm. of something that uh, will be of beneficial, economic beneficial yeah. to the person down there mm -hmm. at the grassroots. Right. As we speak now, most of the people doesn't even know that committee exists. It's right. only few elites, few youth leaders who knows the BBI and right. everything. But most of people, when you go down there, mm -hmm. what they only know the handshake and that's it. Mm -hmm. So they don't know the inequity, the inside, the insights All of right. the handshake. All right. So it, it hasn't. All right, uh, Orogo, as we finish, do you think uh, we will see the achievement or the development that you need? We are certainly seeing the achievement. And, uh, and one of the achievements that we have seen is that there is uh, this tranquility in the country. Mm -hmm which is much needed for economic development, like Abu, Abu Bakr has just mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I plead with Kenyans, <coughs> I always plead with Kenyans that, you see, for the first time, can we give this committee a room? Mm -hmm. It has a spell to work for it to do, that it should be handing a report by May 2013. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that means that a lot needs to be done. And, and I, I s the only skeptical, and, and please, uh, the, the leaders that are in this initiative, really, the only skeptics I have is sustainability. Yeah. But if and it is rolled, <laughs> is if it's rolled through, mm -hmm. it is important that we give it a chance. And it will probably, uh, see, things like universal healthcare right. could have been launched in Nairobi in KICC. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as we launch it in Isiolo, you know, the other area, yeah, there's yeah, much to come with the initiative. Yeah. Uh, very well. Many thanks, gentlemen, for coming and sharing your sentiments in regards to our topic of discussion tonight. They have been my guests, Daniel Orogo, political analyst, and Abu Bakr Andama, a political analyst. Coming up next is Y Mashariki, and I see DJ Kieske is very much ready. DJ Kies, can you How are you, Leo? Leo, what are you Leo, Okay. We see Jali. See him by the home at times. Uh, what do you expect from the show tonight? Uh, you know, I'm a I feel like I'm expecting to be a 
Uh, all right, Salimi and LBC Ukim Pata. Many thanks for keeping us company back home. My name is Ereva Hilary. See you on Friday. Enjoy your evening.